Can you help me understand what is really our biblical stand in terms of celebrating Christmas and Valentine's Day? Why some celebrate while well, some don't? Are we supposed to be united in our convictions? So I think uh, I'll do a separate video for Christmas and conviction. I think in this video, I'll just focus on Valentine's Day. And disclaimer po ulit, lahat po ng aking sasabihin is just my biblical perspective on this subject. Please don't enforce this to your pastor, to your local churches. I may be right, I may be wrong, but it's your pastor po na inyo pong susundin o papakinggan. Okay? Clear tayo dyan? Let me begin this by saying God is love. Okay? God is not against love. God is love. Verse John chapter 4, verse 7 and 8. And in Christianity, love is described as the greatest and highest virtue. And we as Christians are called to emulate this kind of love which Christ has showed upon us. And we are called to love one another. You can study 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13 and, and book of 1 John. May tindihan mo na God is love and God is for love. And we are called to love one another. And it's not against Romans as well. Inintend nga ni Lord na nandyan ang uh, book of Song of Solomon sa Bible upang ipapakita sa atin that Romans is God's idea. There's nothing wrong if you want to give some flowers and chocolates to your wife. Husband, love your wives as, as Christ loved the church. Uh, Romans is the idea of God as long it's under the covenant of marriage or tinatawag na holy matrimony. So, hindi po get some Dios if you want to give some flowers and chocolates or serenade your husband or your wife. God is not against that. Inawin ko ah, God is love. God is for love. God is for romance. God is for marriage. But to acknowledge Valentine's Day is really different. It's unbiblical. It's a Roman paganistic view. It has a bad history. It is to honor the martyr named Valentine. Hindi ko na i-discuss yung long history ng Valentine's Day, how it all started. Uh, maraming iba't ibang mga views regarding that but the point is the history ng Valentine's is just so dark and, and so gory and remember this this started during the Roman Empire and love by definition to the Roman Empire is not the same love that we understand in the Christian worldview ang definition ng love to the Roman Empire it's lust it's, it's endorsing um, promiscuity and immorality Bottom line is, ang Valentine's Day is not rooted on a biblical principle. It's not centered on Jesus Christ. It was not established to give glory to God. Ang problema kung kayo mag-asawa ay uh, gusto niyo mag-date during Valentine's Day na celebrate ng mundo. Walang masama kung uh, gusto mo siyang bigyan ng letters, gusto mo siyang bigyan ng chocolates, gusto mo siyang bigyan ng flowers or a serenade as long na hindi mo in-acknowledge yung Valentine's Day as the definition of love, as long you don't worship Valentine's Day and celebrate it, there's nothing wrong with that. We must always remind ourselves that we don't need Valentine's Day to demonstrate our love for one another, for our family, for our loved ones, or for our friends. In the, in the biblical point of view, we are called to demonstrate our love on a daily basis and not on a Valentine's Day. Celebrate marriage, that's biblical. Renewal of vows, that's biblical. Romans in marriage, that is biblical. To create an event in your church at sabihin yung Valentine's Day celebration, that's a big no. Godspeed.